never know if Zoom's actually going to cooperate. <laughs> um, so uh, for those of you that don't know me or recognize my face, I am Leah Horton. I am an anti-diet health coach and the creator of this group. Um, and today I'm really excited to be bringing in Dawn Bennett, um, who's going, we're going to have a little bit of a conversation around cravings. Um, but Dawn, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Tell us a little bit about you. Sure. So I've been doing work with people and emotions and the relationship with body and emotions for 20 some years now. Um, and my one of my specialties is tapping. I also do hypnosis and a lot of things to help people shift like what's going on deep in their mind that's driving cravings, compulsions, emotions, that kind of thing. Um, so that's what I'm going to share with you today is how to do some emotional freedom techniques work or tapping to reduce your cravings when you're in the middle of them to actually clear what's the underlying cause of why you're craving this right now and to calm the whole body system down. Yeah, I love that so much. And so, you know, I, I teach um, intuitive eating and we do kind of have like a formula for dealing with emotional eating and that type of stuff. But I think the more tools that we can add to our toolbox, the better. And what I love about it is like most people's knee jerk reaction to sugar cravings is to like get mad about it, get frustrated, have like even more negative emotion around it um, <laughs> and be like, oh, there's something wrong with me. And I need to like low, go low carb and cut out all sugar and take these really drastic measures, but it doesn't actually address that underlying the root of the issue and the, the, the craving itself. I think that our body has a lot of wisdom and sometimes we just get our wires crossed on like what it's trying to say that we actually need. Right. And so, um, I did have like, I took one class on tapping, um, when I was getting coach certified and I just found it fascinating. So I'm excited <laughs> to learn more today from you. So yeah, go ahead and just dive in. Well, there's a, I just want to say first, just to address this right off the bat, there's a lot of different methods of tapping and not all methods are emotional freedom techniques. So you'll see me do some things that maybe you haven't seen on YouTube or you haven't seen elsewhere, or I might do it in a different order. Most everything works. It's a matter of your intention and bringing yourself into your body and grounding. Right. Um, and so when I teach people how to do tapping for cravings, what you want to do is like, you're, you know, often when we're actually thinking about doing tapping for craving, it's like, oh my gosh, here I am the chocolates in my hand and I shouldn't eat it, but I really want to eat it. And like, right. So what you can do is start acknowledging that like, even though I really want this chocolate, right. So acknowledging what's happening and ideally the emotion, you know, and I'm anxious because I want this chocolate or I'm feeling frustrated that I can't stop eating chocolate or whatever it is. Right. So the emotion and what's happening. And then we alternate that with an acceptance statement. Like, mm -hmm. it's okay, I feel this way. Okay, so mm -hmm. even though I'm frustrated because I'm going to eat this chocolate right now and I don't want to, you know, I accept that my body is trying to show me something, right? So we do that on the side of the hand. And then when we do the rest of the points, we can actually just talk about like, well, what is it about this chocolate I love? Like, Oh, it's so smooth and creamy. And I love the way it melts in my mouth. Let me go to the side of the eye. Like it makes me feel warm and nurtured. Like I really want this right now, but I don't want it right now. Like I'm trying to lose weight or I'm trying to cut out sugar or whatever it is. Right. So you can just literally tap the points as you're sitting there in front of the food, just acknowledging yourself and giving yourself grace right? Like, okay. And you can evaluate like, okay, so I wanted this, let's say at a level eight out of 10, when I first started, how much do I want it now? Well, I want it like a six out of 10. And we can all start looking at what is there in the food that we love, right? Like, so when I talk with people about their cravings from the emotional techniques or the, the FT standpoint, we also look at sometimes like, even though I want this chocolate, the love of my family isn't in the food. Because often we're having chocolate because we just had chocolate for Christmas or we just had those cookies or, you know, it remind, we have a glass of wine because it reminds us of so-and-so or the coffee because it reminds us of mornings with grandma or so there's like an emotional connection to food. So you can also use the tapping in that way where you say like, even though I really want this glass of wine, you know, I can feel nurtured and loved without it. So even though I'm really clear in this wine right now. 
you know, it's going to take away my stress and I'm so stressed out right now. Like, yeah. So for somebody that's like, has like no idea what even tapping is, <laughs> can you give us just like a really short, yeah. like what, what does that action actually do me? Mm -hmm. So what we're doing, like to bring it down super quick level, what we're doing is we're, we're kind of uh, acknowledging the emotions that we have. Right. So even though I'm feeling X, Y, Z about this situation, then we're giving an acceptance statement. So instead of being like, oh, I can't have sugar and I can't and like fighting it. Right. Whenever we create fight, we're create, we're raising the energy. So instead we're saying like, oh, even though this grief is here, this frustration, this anxious feeling, this depressive feeling, whatever is here in this situation, it's okay. I love and accept myself anyway. And so when we alternate those statements while tapping certain acupressure points on the body, it actually changes the way that our brain is accessing those memories. It calms our fight flight system. So we have more calmness, clarity, confidence, and more choice about what we're doing in that moment. So it actually just realigns all of our system so we can come at it with conscious choice. Like, okay, do I actually still want this chocolate? No, I don't. Okay, great. Or I do, but now I feel like I can have one instead of 20. So we can actually make choice instead of just like, oh my God, I just, I got to eat chocolate and like um, the unawareness, right? I know you talk about that a lot, being aware of what, why you're eating it, what's the, beyond it, how is it nourishing us mentally, physically, well, emotionally. And I think the key there is like having it come from this place of non-judgmental curiosity. I think, you know, that our knee-jerk reaction again is to like, now we're going to sit in a shame spiral because we can't control ourselves around the chocolate or whatever. And it, it's not helpful to do that. But if we can just be like, okay, I wonder what it is that has me feeling this way, or what am I hoping to get? from this. Um, and, you know, I think a lot of people are like, oh, I eat chocolate, like when I'm sad or upset or happy or whatever. One of the things, like when I started like increasing my level of awareness around the, the nightly chocolate habit that I had, um, I actually noticed it was more of like a physical desire of like being a palate cleanser after dinner. And it was like my way of like finishing my evening. And that was such an interesting awareness because now I can make that intentional choice of like, okay, I know what that's doing for me. Is there something else that I can do that accomplishes the same thing? That's maybe, um, a choice that's more supportive to my body. And sometimes it's the chocolate <laughs> and that's okay. Right. But right. sometimes it's like a cup of peppermint tea, or I just go up and brush my teeth or whatever it is. Um, mm -hmm. and there wasn't actually really an emotion tied to it other than just this like connection with the completion of my meal and my day, um, which I found really interesting. Right. And that's the thing is it doesn't have to be a negative emotion. Like with emotional freedom techniques, with tapping, we work with the negative emotions because that's usually something more, you know, that people are like, oh, here I am. I feel ashamed that I just ate a whole bag of potato chips. You know, mm -hmm. we can work with that. But even as you mentioned, finding the, the positive resources, because our brain is just doing everything it can to keep us safe, to help us feel nurtured, to help us feel loved. So, um, I like yeah. that you brought that piece of it up as well. Yeah. Would you mind um, running through just the different points again? Like, so if somebody's trying to like do this for themselves, what's the kind of mental checklist that we should be going through? We've got the acknowledgement of the craving and the acceptance piece, um, but can you break that down again? Um, yeah. So the way that we usually work with it is like, even though I want this food or whatever. And I feel X way about wanting it. It's usually the way we try to bring in it because of course it's emotional freedom techniques. We're trying to bring that emotion into it. Sometimes we don't know why, like, even though I don't even know why I want these potato chips, I just want them so bad. Right. That's okay. Um, the acknowledgement and then the rest of the points, we usually acknowledge the emotion again. Like I'm feeling frustrated or I really, really want these. So that's what we do most of the time. However, with foods, it's usually, I shouldn't say usually, but it's often something really specific. I really want this salt. I just love the way they crunch in my mouth. It reminds me of X, Y, Z person. So we start identifying the attributes of the food that we're craving or that we're compulsive about in that moment. 
Then what happens as the body clears, actually the deeper layer shows up like, oh yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Like I forgot that I loved this because so-and-so used to eat it with me, or, or I forgot that, you know, I can get my salt from something different or more healthy mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. Right. So when the system gets calm, we have that clarity and choice. Mm -hmm. Well, I've even seen like some people that are dealing with like high stress. There's almost like they tend to go for like crunchy foods because it's like an aggression thing almost of like getting that crunch. It's really satisfying um, when we're just feeling really frustrated. <laughs> like yeah. that makes sense to my mind. Of, like, yeah, that does sound like it'd be really satisfying. Yeah. So it looks like, you know, you're doing the hand, you're doing the top yeah. of the head. Um, between the eyes. So usually at the center point of the eyebrows mm -hmm. and you can do it one-sided, two-sided. It doesn't matter what side, side of the eye, right in the temples, under the eye, right in the cheekbone, mm -hmm. under the nose, between the nose and the lip, between the lip and the chin. And then the collarbones, like that soft spot under the collarbones, this is the one point that we like to tap both sides at once. So either with one hand or with both, or both hands, doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. And the last part is under the arm. So kind of like, right, if you just drop your arm straight across, like right on the armpit, or you can do it same side if that feels more, like I tell kids, like, I feel like a monkey, you know, so they love that. They love being a monkey while they're trying to do their mm -hmm. emotional stuff. So those are, those are the basic points that we use. And like I said, there's points on the hands. There's other points that we use for different purposes, but those are the nice basic ones. Mm -hmm. The beautiful yeah. thing about emotional freedom techniques tapping is that if you miss a point or two or screw up a little bit, it's still going to work. Mm -hmm. Like it's still going to make some movement. So I encourage people just to try. Otherwise, um, I've got like a free PDF on my website that you can just download it and has all the instructions on how to try to do it yourself. So, yeah. And I was like totally skeptical when I first heard about it because I was like not fully into like a lot of what people would call woo-woo stuff. And um, I was even like a coaching partner. I was like doing it with, we're like, I don't know about this. And I actually was really surprised. Like I found myself getting really emotional doing it. And you could definitely like kind of see that it brought up a lot of stuff and it was like a really great release of emotion. So there's definitely something to it for sure. Um, and I'm like one of those people, like if it works, like, yeah, I, I don't have to understand how it works. I'm just going <laughs> to add that to my toolkit and, and continue yeah. to use it. So great. Well, one really interesting research study is there's a woman, Peta Stapleton uh, down in Australia, and she did a study on cravings and compulsions um, with tapping. And they did a focus group for eight weeks of tapping and did like a follow-up after I think six months and then a year. And you could see the MR, the changes in the brain via MRI and they stayed permanently. And when they were doing follow-ups a year later, most people couldn't even remember what it was there, what they were craving so bad that they did the study for. Like that's how completely things shifted for them. Mm -hmm. So it's a very permanent long-term change, which is really lovely about it as well. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. amazing. Awesome. This is so fascinating to me. Um, Don, if somebody wanted to learn more about tapping and the work that you do, um, how can they find you? Yes. So my business name is Touch Remedies, R-E-M-E-D-I-E-S. So it's touchremedies.com is probably the best way to do it. I'm in the middle of rebranding. So notice that it might point to a different website eventually, but because um, I'm, I'm doing a lot of stuff with relationships as well right now. So it may point there, but there's a, also a drop down menu of, of free stuff. And so that's got the PDF I mentioned. It's got a tapping class. So you can actually learn how to do tapping for free on your own and play with it that way. Awesome. Thank you. I will um, grab that link and put it in the comments um, in on the video. So if anybody watching the replay wants that, they can just grab that there. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you so much, Don. It has been great having you. I really appreciate it. And um, if anybody has questions or um, follow-ups, um, Don, is it okay if I also give out like a contact uh, way to contact you directly? Yep, the phone number and all that phone number, email, all that stuff. So okay, perfect. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye, everybody.